our beloved Prophet Muhammad he used to always encourage the Sahaba and he always gave guidance to his companions that they should increase in taqwa. And especially when they went on a military expedition, he always said that fear Allah, have taqwa. And that was followed later on by the Sahabas in giving advice and the Khulfa Rashidin. And we also have a hadith of Hadith Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. He told his son Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, that have taqwa and fear Allah. And he said, you fear Allah and he will protect you. Have taqwa of Allah and he will protect you. And he further said that if you give in the way of Allah, Allah will reward you. And if you thank Allah, he will increase. Here we realize that there are many verses in the Quran which Allah gives us guidance about taqwa. For example, Allah says that taqwa is the criteria for a person to acquire righteousness and Allah to accept your deeds. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ahzab, chapter number 33, verse number 17 and 71, Ya ayyuhal lazina amunu, O you believe, have taqwa of Allah, fear Allah, and those who obey Allah and His Messenger, they are the people who will achieve a great reward, would have reached a higher achievement.